welcome back this is rajit tj today we are going to discuss problem number 3 on lab joint so here is the problem statement determine the efficiency of the lab joint shown in figure uh, the bolts of uh, diameter m16 m16 property plus 5.6 bolts the grade of a plate given is 14 newton per millimeter square here this is the figure they given here they are connecting two plates uh, in the form of lab joint that is they have placed one above the other thickness of the top plate is 10 millimeter bottom plate is 80 mm 8, uh, 8 mm sorry this is the force direction this is another view of the joint they are given here this is the force direction they they connected these two plates using nine number of bolts in rectangular pattern they they play uh, connected in three rows and three columns the width of the plate is 200 millimeter that is b end distance is 40 millimeter here g is a gauge distance pitch of the board that is along the four direction if you measure the distance between two consecutive board that is called pitch that is 50 millimeter given here yeah, the given data is 16 mm and d naught 16 plus clearance we should take from table number 19 of is 800 that will comes out to be 18 millimeter which is 50 millimeter e is 40 millimeter ultimate strength of the board since the board upgrade is 5.6 we should take 500 newton millimeter square ultimate strength of the plate 14 newton per millimeter square number of poles provided here total number of poles they have provided here 9 that is capital N equal to 9 now to calculate the efficient we to calculate the four different capacity of the joint or the strength of a joint first one we should calculate design shear capacity of the joint for that we should calculate shear capacity of single board as per 10.3.3 we discussed in detail this thing in the last two problem so the shins uh, bolts are subject to single shear uh, i am assumed shank portion falls in shear plane uh, taken in s equal to 1 in n equal to 0 since it is single shear if substitute to the formula vdsp formula f e by root 3 gamma m b n n a n b plus n s a s b and gamma m we should take from 1.05 from table number 5 for a sharp bolts if subject to the formula here we will going to get 46.43 this is the value of single bolt in shear in this chart if you want entire joint strength in shear we should multiply number of bolts with the board single bolt value in shear that comes out to be 46.43 into 9 that will be 417.89 kN this is the strength of the joint in shear the two bolts now we should calculate bearing strength of the single board according to 10.3.4 uh, this is the VDP formula 2.5 KBT TFU by gamma MB so if substitute all the form, uh, values you will going to get KB is 0.67 subtract to the formula here 2.5 KB D is the diameter of the board is 16 here 8 mm taken least plate thickness uh, here since we have connected different plates here uh, we have ultimate strength of the plate 410 by 1.25 into 10 power minus 3 to get answer in kilo newton we will going to get 70.32 that is bearing strength of single bolt if we want bearing strength of the joint we should multiply the number of bolts that comes out to be 632.90 kN now so we should calculate then the third one tension or tearing strength of the plate according to 6.3.1 what is this tension or tearing failure here see this solid plate this is a solid plate here they make bolt hole to put bolt here they have removed some area they have removed some material from 200 mm if you take example in this case here they have made two three bolt hole here to put three bolts of 16 mm dia they have made 18 mm diameter bolt hole in 200 so what is net uh, width of the plate now in this section or any of three three section 200 minus 3 into 80 mm they have removed such that much of area remaining length will be the solid plate so due to the application of the force the joint may fail you due to shear failure of the bolt due to bearing failure of the bolt or due to tension failure of the plate the bolt will be intact in place that will going to take the load but in some cases if the plates are weak the plates will going to fail due to tension due to the application of the force therefore we should calculate for different combinations of sections we should calculate what the tension failure of the plate here if you take anywhere along this line first column second column perpendicular to the force 
along these three lines since number of boards are same here i have taken section one one here at the middle board if you take here else you're going to get the same answer we should take perpendicular to the force direction the section line so along this line we should calculate the tension or tearing failure of strength here so this one we should calculate according to section 6.3.1 of is 800 here if you look into is 800 here this is 6.3.1 in if you come in page number 32 this is the formula design strength of the plate tdn is governed by the rupture net section area a in at the bolt holes given by tdn 90 percent that is 0.10 a in fu gamma m1 where gamma m1 is a partial safety factor for ultimate failure at ultimate stress we should see the table number five ultimate strength of the metal that is plate a net effective area of the member is given by this is the formula this is applicable for staggered pitch here there is no staggered pitch here we should take this much b into n into dh where n is the number of poles and along the section dh is the diameter of the board tool b is the width of the plate now if you substitute these values in the formula in our case net area will be b minus nd d, d naught or dh into t 200 minus 3 poles are coming on the line that is section you have taken one one section 3 into diameter of the board tool we are in into least plate thickness you will going to get this much of area that is here where what is here number of bolt holes along the failure section gamma m1 the resistance governed by the ultimate strength we should refer table number 5 of is 800 here yeah. if you see here resistance governed by the ultimate stress gamma m1 that is 1.5 that is a partial safety factor that is comes up in phase number 30. So here if you substitute all these values in TDN formula, you will going to get 344.79 kN. Here next question is what is strength of the joint? Strength of the joint is the list of above the values that is bearing strength of the joint, shear strength of the joint and tensile strength of the joint that, that is 344 tensile with this list here that, is, that will be equal to 344.79 kN. So now last one we need to calculate here is design strength of the solid plate what do you mean by this this also we should calculate according to 6.3.1 here assume that in this joint there is no bolt hole assume that there is there will be no two plates there will be only one plate instead of joint there will be only one solid place is here along the plate the force is acting of it with this 200 so see if you if you not provided any joint at this section if it is a solid plate or a single plate what will be the strength of the plate that will be the 100 percent you know strength of the plate that is maximum strength of the plate we should calculate here that comes out to be here b d not th a and get the same formula but here there is no bolt hole here since it is solid plate this portion will become zero 298 least place thickness you want to get 1600 millimeter square f is 410 gamma m is 1.25 if substitute you will want to get 472 this is the strength of the solid plate without any joint so now this is the efficiency of the joint formula efficiency equal to design strength of the joint that is least value of uh, bearing strength shear strength and tension failure of uh, plate and design strength of solid plate 344.79 by 472.32 this solid strength of the plate into 100 you're going to get 72.99 percent is the efficiency of the joint with the with the given board arrangement system. Thank you very much.